children today we are going to start chapter number 4 of class 8 subject computers so we are going to complete the book exercise in the textbook only and the question and answers you have to complete in your notebook i'll be giving you the answers first one fill in the blank dash tool is used to make vector sheet it is pen tool so write P E N T O O L pen tool. Next we have dash applies color fill to a selected part of an image or to an entire layer. It is paint bucket tool. So write P A I N T paint B U C K E T bucket T O O L tool. third one dash option swaps the selected color of the gradient it is reverse r e v e r s e reverse dash allows organizing work into distinct level it is layers l a y e r s layers next we have state whether the given statements are true or false layers contain both transparent and opaque elements when second it is true so right here true next viewing tool is a fill consisting of two or more colors blending together it is false next we have third one we can add layers to a group or and organize them in organize them as desired it is also true last to select several consecutive layers select the first layer and hold the alt key and select the last layer it is false now page number 30 sorry 57 question time choose the correct answers the tool that is used to correct small blushes is scan in scanned photos is it is healing brush so pick the option c next this tool takes a sample of an image and applies over another image or a part of the same image it is clone stamp d point name the tool which magnifies or reduces the display of an area in the image window it is magnify tick d one now answer the following question you have to do in the notebook question number 1 explain the function of a smudge tool and dodge tool open page number 51 so we have to mark from here smudge tool the smudge tool is used to smear the paint on the canvas it gives an effect of finger painting the steps to use smudge tool are select the smudge tool from the toolbox choose the brush mode and strength drag the tool over the areas where we want to apply the smudge next dodge tool the dodge tool is used to lighten the dark areas of the image just choose the tool and start painting on the image the steps to use the dodge tool are select the dodge tool from the toolbox choose the desired brush and hardness from the brush present picker from the option bar specify the value for range and exposure from the option bar click and drag on the desired area of the image to lighten the picker this is answer number 1 question number 2 explain the steps used to select a single layer and multiple layer open page number 54 from here you have to mark at least one layer must be selected in order to perform most actions in photoshop to select a layer click the layer panel the layer turns blue indicating that it has been selected to select several non consecutive layer hold the ctrl key on the keyboard and click on each layer to select to select several consecutive layers select the first layer and then hold to the shift key and select the last layer to select all the layers at once except the background layer select the layer menu 
and click all layers this is answer number two next we have question number three differentiate between the healing brush and the history brush this type you have to make a table in your notebook and then you are going to write the answer of the question in your notebook okay i'm giving you the answer so answer number three healing brush and history brush healing brush it is used to correct small blushes in stand photos history brush it is used to reveal the initiated initiate state of the image when opened in photoshop second point hold down the hold down the alt key and key on the base color required to heal no such key is used but when the history brush tool is used whenever a paint stroke on the image is made it will become color clear this is answer number 3 next we have question number 4 what is a clone stamp tool how will you use it open page number 46 okay here clone stamp tool is used for cloning one part of the image to another part next it helps to take a sample of an image and apply over another image or a part of the same image the steps to use the clone stamp tool are select the clone stamp tool from the toolbox hold down the alt key and click on the certain point of the image to start the copy point place the mouse over the part of the new document to apply the sampled image click and drag the mouse across the page to copy the picture this is answer number 4 now last question number 5 discuss about opacity and fill option open page number 55 here to take the change in opacity option affect both the fill and stroke of a circle the change in fill affect only the fill and not the stroke the stroke of the circle this is answer number 5 so children you have to complete the book exercise in the textbook only and the question and answers you are going to write in your notebook the question number 3 you have to make this table you have to divide the page into uh, two equal part and then you have to write the answer in a neat and beautiful handwriting and you have to learn also thank you